This course was originally three courses combined into one. In the first course, you will learn all the fundamentals of Blender and then move on to 3D modeling techniques. In the second course, you will learn how to use materials, PBR textures, and UV mapping. And in the third course, you will learn all aspects related to Cycle's rendering engine, including lighting, camera, render settings, and post-processing. I have carefully crafted the curriculum so that students can gain the skills gradually with no friction at all. After this course, inshallah, you will be able to create sophisticated 3D models, apply complex textures through UV editing, and be able to optimize cycles to render high-quality images. Assalamualaikum, my name is Widi Mutakin, founder of Expose Academy, Expose Studio, and EduTalenta. For more than 20 years, I have created thousands of 3D renderings like this for architectural, interior, and master plan projects. I have worked with many clients all over the world. I have clients on almost every continent in the world. Besides doing projects, I have also been teaching 3D and computer graphics academically at various schools since the year 2000. In short, I have real-world professional expertise in 3D and teaching experience. You will learn a lot in this course. In short, the course has 9 chapters, not including the introduction chapter. In the first chapter, you will learn all the fundamentals of working with Blender, such as the UI, navigation, viewport settings, object creation, selection, and so on. In the second chapter, we will focus on different object transformation techniques and also the snapping features. In the third chapter, you will learn 3D modeling techniques. These include loop selection, extrude, inset, bevel, bridge, spin, and so on. You will model a lot of 3D objects along the way. By the end of the third chapter, you should be able to model a modern curved nightstand product like this one. In the fourth chapter, you will learn all the basics of working with materials in Render. From assigning and managing materials, learn some CG fundamentals such as color models and color codes. Learn the difference between metal and dielectric materials, and learn all the features and potentials of the principled BSDF shader. By the end of the chapter, you will have hands-on projects composing materials for a nice stand product and also some architectural objects. Next, in chapter 5, you will learn the fundamentals of shader and texture. You will understand the difference between procedural and image textures, and know how and when to use both. We will then cover PBR textures in detail. At the end of the chapter, you will have hands-on projects where you create texture for a this model completely procedural. After that, you will create materials for a snowman model also completely procedural. In chapter 6, you will learn UV mapping in depth. You will learn different techniques of UV mapping and know how to use them and when to use them against different scenarios. You will also learn UV editing such as tweaking, splitting, stitching, UV sculpting, straightening, and so on. By the end of the chapter, you will have four hands-on projects. First, you will add a texture to the side table product. Then, you will work on previous nightstand model, but this time with a wood texture. And then, you will add textures to this floor lamp 3D model. And finally, you will work on UV mapping a lawn chair product. In the seventh chapter, you will learn how to use various light sources inside Blender. We will start with the world background and a sky texture. Then, you will learn how to use HDR and EXR files, and then learn to use light objects such as point light, sunlight, spotlight, and aerial light. You will also learn how to create caustic effects, learn how to make lighting more realistic using IES files, and then learn how to make material emit light using the emission shader. Next, in chapter 8, you will learn how to easily set up cameras using different manipulation techniques. 
then you will learn the ins and outs of cycles render settings such as samples, denoising, clamping, color spaces, view transform, white balance, and so on. In the final chapter, you will learn how to perform post-processing to the rendered result using the compositor. Everything is done non-destructively via nodes. And then, you will learn how to easily isolate pixels for compositing using CryptoMath. Besides the small exercises throughout the course, you will be given a final project at the end. Basically, you will create product renderings of launcher set in three different styles. First, with a transparent background, but with shadows that can fit into any color or background. Second, with a 3D environment and an evening sky. And third, using the same 3D environment, but now with a day or afternoon sky. So, join now and master all essential 3D skills using Blender. Have fun learning. Wassalamualaikum.